Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Royal Navy playthrough, and last time we lost the aircraft carrier Furious. We're here in April 1942. The tonnage bar is back in our favour thanks to the uh, US joining the war effort, which is fantastic. So, we've got uh, a ship we can commission. Now, uh, reading through your... Um, comments a lot of people were saying we need another aircraft carrier maybe an escort carrier and maybe split up the larger task groups or the larger capital ships because we don't need the Germans are only sending out you know torpedo boats and destroyers we don't need you know concentrated firepower of that magnitude uh, in one place so not a bad shout um, so we may split up the uh, the ships a little bit right so we've got Oh, that's available. So the escort carrier is available in September of this year. Um, the ruler class escort carrier is October this year. We've got the illustrious class um, aircraft carrier. Has um, 48 aircraft. And we have the courageous class. Uh, that's 45,000. That's 54,000. Right. Let's have a look between the two. Um... This has got 16 4.5 inch guns. This doesn't have anything, it would seem. Um, so the illustrious class can d defend itself, but it is half over. Well, it's half our um, over half our uh, renown. This one is just under half our renown, but it can't defend itself. Both have 48 aircraft. Okay, I think I think we'll go for the uh, illustrious then. Should we go for the illustrious? Illustrious? Yeah, why not? Well, let's buy the uh, the flagship. Boom! There we are. And there she is. We want to get her out of port straight away because <laughs> I don't think she's going to survive. Right up here, we have the Beric, the Ajax, and the Black Prince. Now, if I move, say the the Black Prince down. Uh, the Black Prince is a Dido class. I think. It is a Dido class, so it's going to be good against anti air. Um, and then we've got a Leander class, the Ajax. Right, so I'm going to send Ajax down here. Uh, with Legion, and then we're going to send Illustrious and uh, Nepal out as well. So I am going to keep a, a light cruiser with um, the aircraft carrier as well. Over here we have uh, two light cruisers and two destroyers. Uh, the Fraser, I suppose, can make her way this way. She can go to, back to port to get some repairs. Uh, we'll leave those light cruisers and the Gurkha destroyer there. Um, so up here is the, the Beric. Wait, so where's the Nelson? Ah, down here. In the... No. Nelson must be in port. Um, we've got the light cruiser Phoebe and the destroyers Intrepid and Punjabi who are patrolling for um, shipping and subs in the area. And down here we also have the Kingston which is also patrolling for subs. Um, we've got the Mohawk in the Caribbean. So Controlling for any submarine activity over there. And in the Mediterranean, we have Isis, uh, who's doing a good job there. Right. And we've got some ships around there. I know we've got a lot of ships here concentrate at the moment, but they're going to part ways shortly. Okay. We'll see how that goes. So, here we go. We're in the West North Atlantic, the destroyer Ottawa who already has light damage, has come under attack from U261, which also has light damage. Are they re-engaging re for a second time? Perhaps the U-boat has the initiative. It's an evening, and it's dry, cloudy, little bit of sun. So U261 dives immediately, so maybe this wasn't uh, an unexpected... Um, engagement. She wasn't quite ready for it. Yes, you can see Ottawa is a little bit nose heavy. She's a little bit nose heavy, um, for sure. Is it behind us? 
Where is he? Um, contact 2 0. Well, there he is. Okay. Let's go flank speed and we'll turn around and see if we can get some um, depth charging a go go. Unless we've got any aircraft. Oh my god, look at the bow of the ship. It's just, just about above. Oh, just about above water. Okay, let's target this. Depth charge bombing. Lovely. Yeah, it's probably very good. Right, let's launch. Sunderland flying into the sun. The outer pole. Diving down. Depth charges away. Got her! Yes! Brilliant! U261 sunk. Look at that. Brilliant. Happy days. Right, so U261 sunk for 800 tons. The Ottawa survives, and we're going to get her into uh, port. I love the cinematic in the background. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get the Ottawa um, over to the American sea border and um, and see if we can get her uh, repaired. Meanwhile, just a little bit further east in the North Atlantic, U-boats U-536 and 543 are attacking a convoy of a C-3 freighter, a Liberty freighter, and a T-2 tanker, which has been escorted by the destroyer in constant. The U-boats uh, have the initiative, and that is a lot of tonnage just in those three ships. They'll probably go for the tanker first off. Nothing from the first U-boat. 543 fires a full spread of four torpedoes. Pro hmm, probably going for the, um, not the tanker, which has surprised me. Let's have a look. Can't see where the other U boat is. Can we see? There she is, there, but I see her. Right, now she's just fire torpedoes, yes. Okay, so we can turn and try and hunt her down with the depth charges. Uh, do we have any aircraft support? I wouldn't have thought so from this far out. Now, can we see the other periscope? I would guess it's on the other side of the ships there yep you can see the white water from all the uh, splashing against the periscope and it's not going away so that has got to be them we will launch a few shells that way that's probably going to be start off about 12 uh, 11 and a half short quite a lot short right this is the lead ship so and we'll steer to starboard to get away from the second U-boat. Now, you are the one who's in danger from these torpedoes. So I'm actually going to turn you hard port. Oh, God, you didn't move at all. Now we got the tanker. Um, you can go hard port as well. some strikes next time. It's not going to make it this time. Right, you... Yeah, four torpedoes from U-536 going for the lead ship, I believe. C-3 freighter. Right. There's the torpedoes there. coming in on this one now um, so you shouldn't have a torpedo till next time can we see the other U-boat now? no she's not appearing on our map the waves have calmed down a little is that her there? that's her there Right, so we were short last time, weren't we? So, probably quite considerably. So let's go to about 17, 16, 17. No idea. Ah, there it is there. Uh, still just a little bit short. 
Right, so we know we've got torpedoes coming in. We'll continue our starboard turn. Cranky. We'll just continue our port turn. She's going to get hit. And same with the tanker. Continue our port turn. That's that one hit. One, you one struck that ship, so... Oh, <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> oh, great. Liberty's gone. Now, that U-boat will have a, a torpedo ready to fire. How far away is she? It's 4,000 meters. fire a couple of torpedoes at her. Maybe that will make her dive down. Uh, torpedo solution of 80.6. But there. That seems a bit far right. We're going to fire one there. And do a spread of two. Mm, about there. So hopefully that will cover off any movement she does. Alright. You move forward. The Liberty is almost under the water. Right, you turn back to starboard behind these torpedoes. And here come these ones. We're gonna get strike. Oh you can survive that. You're a C3 freighter after all. Ah! Torpedo away. She did have a torpedo, but she's fired it at the tanker. But that was her last action. U543. Hit with both torpedoes, actually. That's pretty nice firing. Right, we've got torpedoes coming in this way. So we're going to have to swing around to starboard. And um, we're a little bit too far away to pick up the other Oh, I can see it though We might try and keep her head down with a couple of shots She's there um, Why well, don't Rain some shells down There she was That wasn't actually too bad at all Right we know we've got a torpedo coming in from wherever there. Harder port then. I can't see it yet. Oh, there it is there. No, it wasn't that one. Right then. Um, we'll swing around starboard. Well, we didn't. It didn't ping. Didn't get her, but uh, she's over here now, somewhere there. We've closed in a little bit. Oh, there she's there. Right, where's this torpedo? Oh, I don't think she's going to turn sharp enough. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. We may get away with this. Close. No further action, right. See you there. Um, bring the guns down again. Long that time. Right. Cut hard behind the torpedo. There we go. Nice. Tanker survives another day. Alright, let's get engaged in this conflict with this. Have we see this U boat yet? No, not yet. She's still not showing on our screen. Uh, I cannot see the white 
water splashing against the periscope. I know she's there. Where are you? There you are. I will aim slightly because I've got light wind. Right. Um, we were slightly long when we just bring it down a bit. Bam. Oh, that's going to go to the side. And it was long. Right, you turn to port. Torpedo, two torpedoes away. At the tanker. Okay. I'm waiting for that first ding as we get her on sonar. But nothing as yet. Again. Right, we've got torpedoes coming in. We might be able to thread the needle. Eek. Eek. Ah, we've got her. Right. Finally. She's showing up. Um, she's 8,900 meters away. Right, let's charge in. Not directly at her, of course. Never like to see that. Right. Elevation 13.7. Seems a little bit too much. We'll go 14.3. No, 13.7 was probably right. <laughs> right. Continue to turn. Uh, threaded the eye of the needle. In a tanker. In a tanker. Right, keep charging forward. Six thousand meters. Right, um, elevation of ten. Oh, let's drop that down a bit. Should be short that. We may be in a situation where we can ram her with a tanker. Now I'm going to go behind. Now obviously she's got a rear tube. There you go. Is that from her rear tube? No, I think that's from her forward tube. Why has she got so many torpedoes? Reloaded so quickly. Nine point one. There we go. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Ooh, just long. Right, we got a torpedo coming in. Hard to starboard. Oh, she's going to be close. This is going to be... No. Crikey, that was close. <laughs> Woo. Right, what are we at? 7.1. Let's go that, drop that down to about... That seems, that seems a hell of a drop. Okay, let's go 6.8. Maybe a little bit more. Crikey, that was close. I'm coming to Rano, I guess. <laughs> My word. Right. Let's swing to port. Now, let's have a look. Is she... Okay, she's not the best angle. Um, switching up to torpedoes. Torpedoes. Right, we'll fire one just in front of the conning tower. If I can move the... Uh, there we go. Right, we'll launch one there. And I'm going to... Yeah, let's, go, let's just go for the one. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hang on. Collision stations. Oh, she's fine. Launched a torpedo. That's the tanker. Boom! U536! Six! six. Uh, he gets out in a strangled cry. Has been sunk. That was a... that. This near collision will be no more. Fantastic! So, um, the Inconstant saved the T2 tanker. Uh, unfortunately, the C3 tanker was lost. Sorry, the C3 freighter was lost for 8,000 tonnes and the Liberty freighter was lost for 14,300 tonnes. However, U536 and 543 both sent to the bottom with 1,032 renowned each. Fantastical. Well, same for the two um, lost freighters, but two U-boats sunk. Happy with that. Right, so we need to get the Ottawa over here, and then she can go into um, repairs. Nice. Right, uh, the Kelly, you move out here for a bit, just to kind of fill, plug that gap, as it were. Uh, we've got the Phoebe Intrepid and Punjabi here. Just going to sort of patrol him around there a little bit. Um, right. The illustrious Ajax, Legion, and Nepal. No, Nepal, you stay there. Um, I'm going to move down here. They're going to start patrolling around the Atlantic as well. The Fraser is going to come into the Western Waters and um, he's going to get some repairs as well. Two turns, okay. Now we've got the Tuna, we've got the Voyager here as okay, it's not too bad. Um, we've got the Cruisers, Gloucester and Sheffield. I might send the Sheffield forward to keep Nepal company. And up here we've got the Beric, Black Prince and the Antelope. Okie dokie. We're doing okay. The Kingston is uh, patrolling up and down the uh, African, West African coast there. Cool, right. Meanwhile, in the Norwegian Sea, Allied merchants attacked by submarines. 52,030 tons of merchant shipping was sunk. And in the Erminger Sea, U-517 and 545 have engaged the light cruiser Gloucester and the destroyer Gurkha. Um, it's a nighttime attack and the weather is fairly <coughs> fairly calm and the U-boats have the initiative. This probably isn't going to be pretty. Oh, no action from the U-boats. Okay. Oh, look at that. Be oh my goodness me. Can we get a screenshot of that? That is just glorious. It worked... The problem is that the screenshots won't break, come out very well. They never do because it's too dark and then... Ah, oh, that's gorgeous though, isn't it? Anyway, um, let's have a look. Let's station. Right, we've got U-boats coming in from both sides. Yeah, Gurk is in the lead. Right. Um, I'm going to swing to port. See if we've got any aircraft. First of all, we'll see what are, is available to us. Okay, uh, let's target this submerged contact over there. Oh, she's not very far away at all. Um, let's say about six point four. Let's go. Well, that's much too long. Right here we are with the Gurkha. Where's the other one? There's the other one there. Um. I'm going to swing to start, but actually, let's engage that one. How far is she? She's 4,000 meters. Um, I'm going to pop the star shell up. <laughs> Torpedoes from 517 at the Gloucester. Five, four, five torpedoes away at the Gloucester. I don't think they like the Gloucester. 
Right, the Gloucester. Oh, God. Um. Right, I'm going to turn into those. I'm going to have to turn into those. Oh, we've got one, one hit straight away. Um... Right, 3.8, let's have a look. Okay. Back to the Gurkha. Let's get a torpedo, and I'm going to fire a torpedo. They reckon... 98, it's quite a long way. I reckon about there. Ow! And she got torpedoes coming in from this side. She's going to be in trouble. Boom! Right, you five, four, five, sunk. Now the Gloucester is listing badly, and she's got more torpedoes coming in. This is only going to spell bad news. Bad news indeed. Um. Maybe if we go to starboard, we can... Nah, we've got two hits. Two hits for us. Um, hmm. Can't see her, actually. Can't see the ship at all. There she is. I think we've lost a Gloucester. I can't see us getting this back now. Ah, oh, there goes the Gloucester. Would they have attacked if we'd split our capital ships up? That's the question. Did I follow bad advice? Is what I'm saying. <laughs> did 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 my uh, taking your advice on board lead to the loss of the Gloucester? Oh, there she rolls. Oh, she's rolling over. Right, with the sinking of the Gloucester, we now need to revenge her. I'm going to go in with torpedoes. I'm going to get, try and get nice and close. Let's get her locked in. See, so she's going to have torpedoes next time, I think, so we want to get too close. 5,200, okay. Torpedo away, as predicted. Should be able to turn inside that. About 4,000 meters away, we'll hold on. Should scuttle down the side of the ship. Yeah, there you go. Go 
to starboard. Swing it around. There she is, 3,700 meters. Get those torpedo launchers ready. I'm going to pop one. So it says solution of 287. I'm going to go 291. Gloucester has been revenged. You 517 suck. Well, that came at a cost. You 517 and you 545 sunk for 1,032 tons apiece. However, we lost the light cruiser Gloucester for 12,000 tons. Ouch. Meanwhile, in the, near Cape Verde, Allied convoy attack by submarine, 67,330 tons of merchant shipping sunk. They're really starting to ramp up the, uh, the merchant shipping attacks now. There was a little bit of a, a lull, but it seems to be uh, picking up again. Right, we'll move the Kingston off just off Dakar there, and we'll bring this task group up here to support as well. Let's have a look. What do we need? Um, we've got 46,000 renown. Seven ships. Um, Corvettes, destroyers, probably a sand by. An I class destroyer, ten torpedoes. HG class destroyer, a gallant. Not a bad shot, actually. So we want to look, impose a little bit more might of our navy. What about a crown, uh, col crown colony class? Light cruiser. Goodness me, that was difficult for me to say. Um, it's got 12 6 inch guns. Another Dido, Newcastle, which is the same as the, um, the town class, is the same as the Gloucester we lost. Um, a Leander class, 21,000. It's got 8 6 inch guns, 12 6 inch guns. You get the Belfast Dido class. That's ten five. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Let's get the. Which town should we choose? Oh, that's, that's half our. Mm. Half our renown, though. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. Skipping between the two suit, they look very similar. They're very similar designs, in fact, aren't they? Almost carbon copies. Um, hmm. I don't know. I just find the Dido is obviously good for anti-aircraft uh, defense, but I just find them a little bit lightweight when it comes to um, imposing. Let's get the Belfast. Go on, let's do it. Do it. Do it. We've done it. The Belfast has been bought, and she is in port uh, at home waters, which is good. Right, let's put her in the Thames straight away, so she's safe. Um. Let's move these guys, you guys uh, along there a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think we're okay. That's where the um, attacks were, just off the uh, coast. 
coast, it would seem. Meanwhile, in the Omega Sea, a large convoy of large freighters, C2 freighters, Liberty freighters, and C3 freighters, uh, escorted by one solitary destroyer, the Gurkha. Obviously, there was the uh, the Glo uh, the the Glo Gloucester cruiser there in this square just a moment ago, but she's gone. Now you two six four. I thought we sunk you two six four at the beginning of this episode. Maybe not. Must have been two six something. Um, has uh, found jackpot. I would say it's a morning. Weather's reasonably nice. The U-boat has the initiative. She does not fire. Interesting. Huge convoy. Huge convoy. Right. Straight away. Swing. Uh, let's get her targeted. Maybe she wasn't ready. Maybe she wasn't ready. Do you have any aircraft? No. Um, back to the vehicle. Uh, so she's 2,600 meters away and... We get a bit of a cheat, so we have a look at the angle of the dangle. Um, 275, I reckon. I reckon. Probably. Right. I'm going to launch both torpedoes because I can't have her surviving. Do you know what I mean? Because she'll get. Uh, actually, no. Let's fire. Because I don't think she'll target the destroyer, would she? She'll target the um, the convoy, I'd imagine. That's where the tonnage is. We'll find out. We'll find out. Right. Convoy, flank speed to port. Turn. See if we can entice you. Oh, no. She's, fi she's firing at the destroyer. Okay. She's fired past the destroyer. And she won't live to uh, regret that decision. You 264 sunk the Gurkha wins another battle battle honours are getting high for the destroyer Gurkha she's protected the entire convoy and put black oil on the top of the water look at that, brilliant uh, U-264 sunk for 800 tonnes one of the old veteran crews gone meanwhile in the western approaches the light cruiser Sheffield and the destroyer Nepal have been attacked by U-278 and 842. Are we starting to see the extermination of our light cruisers? I'm going to put them back together. They were safer when they were together. Um, I don't know. Thoughts? Did I fo follow bomb advice? That's the thing. Um, I, I suppose it could go one of two ways. I, I suppose it's because we have we had lots of capital ships together... The targets were spread out. They're not just concentrating on one capital ship. I don't know. Maybe that's the thing. Uh, it's morning. It's uh, reasonably nice weather. The U-boats have the initiative. No action. No action. Okay. Well, the good news is we've got a bit of distance. So um, the Sheffield can do her thing from range. Which is good. Let's target you. I can't even see where that is. Uh, she's there. Okay, the wind's quite strong, so we'll target about there. Um, I reckon about six? Six point five? <laughs> Yeah, that was on the money. That was on the money. So that one's probably going to dive. So I am going to steer towards her. We might be able to get some depth charges away. Do you have any aircraft? Yes, we do. Okay. Fantasidastic. We'll target the one behind us. She's gone. 
U278 sunk. Another veteran crew gone. That'd be for 800 tons. Meanwhile, the Sheffield was close. She did some damage. U842 is diving. Nice. The Sheffield is safe for this go. Right, uh, I think you just hold fire there, Sheffield. And we'll send the uh, Nepal in with uh, a depth charge run. No more aircraft. That's okay. She continues to dive. Continue to close on that final U boat. <laughs> She's diving. Run away! Run away! Run away! Right, we'll get Sheffield to make some smoke. Right, we'll get the um, Nepal slow down next time. Just making some smoke just so they. Saves us a button click. Right, down to one third speed. She's gone under us. Oh, there she is. Right, let's just um, trundle forward a tiny bit. Get those depth charge racks loosened. <sighs> She's incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky. Uh, she's left the combat with the distortion from that depth charging. So, the action report reads, Light Cruiser Sheffield survived. Nepal Destroyer survived. U-278 sunk for 800 tons and U-842 damaged and uh, left the combat arena. Noise. Meanwhile, over the United Kingdom, warships attacked by Axis aircraft the destroyer Voyager has received medium damage. Righty ho. Also, over uh, United Kingdom waters. Submarine attacked by enemy aircraft. U 289 received light damage. <laughs> Allied sea power dominates the Atlantic. As the war materials flow freely to Great Britain, the Allies prepare for invasion. The liberation Europe and the ultimate defeat of Germany has begun. Lion class battleship now available in Battle of the Atlantic campaigns. The Battle of the Atlantic is over in May 1942. If only. We've done it. We've done it. Ah. Oh. There we go. That has been a really enjoyable campaign. We have run, won the uh, Royal Navy playthrough. Look at all those Liberators flying over. Is this a Thunderbolt down here as well? Escorting them. What is it? Could be. No, it looks too chunky for a Mustang. And it looks slightly radial engine. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, never mind. <laughs> I feel really bad that we lost the Gloucester now. Um, and the illustrious never got to see action, but uh, there we go. The Royal Navy playthrough completed. We have completed and we have won the war in the Atlantic. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thoughts and comments, as always, in the section below. I do enjoy reading them. It's, uh, it's kind of a relief that we got there in the end, but it's kind of also sad because I certainly enjoy playing this game so much. Um... Yeah, we could do a campaign or something like that. What would you like to see next? Put it in the comments. We can do more Atlantic Fleet or maybe we can switch it up and do something else. 
I've really enjoyed doing the Atlantic Fleet on the Wednesday, so um, maybe we can find something equally as fun. Thoughts and comments as always in the section below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.